All right, in these uh, examples, what we're going to do is that we're going to multiply and divide some fractions here. And the good news is, is that say if we go to these, uh, this first one right here, um, we can multiply straight across. We don't even have to look for common denominators or uh, go through that hassle. So we would have uh, one times four, which would give me four, and three times five, which would give me fifteen, and. 4 over 15 is going to go ahead and be our solution. Now, something we can do, this is a quality of life thing, is that we can, uh, much like we would reduce a fraction, um, say if we had, you know, 4 over 6, we can say that a 2 um, divides into 4, and we get 2, 2 divides into a 6, and that we could reduce that down to 2 thirds, okay? Now, keep that example in mind, because when we're reducing, um, fractions we could reduce before we actually uh, start multiplying to make the number smaller so for example a 3 can go into 3 once and 3 can go into 6 um, twice notice that they, one has to be on top and one has to be on bottom they, they can't cancel horizontally they can only go ahead and cancel um, going from uh, bop, top, bop, top to bottom or bottom to top so now I'm going to go ahead and have smaller numbers. I'm going to get 2 times 2, which is 4, and 1 times 7, which is 7. And my final answer would be 4 sevenths. And we could do this cancellation over many, many uh, fractions. Um, so we're going to go ahead and have 5 divided into 5 is 1, 5 divided into 15 is 3, and then we can also go 4 divided into 4 is 1. 4 divided into 8 is going to give me 2. And we can do it even one more time. Uh, 2 divided into 2 is 1, and 2 divided into 2 is 1. And look at that. We even have a 3 divided into 3 is 1, and 3 divided into 3 is 1. So we kind of made a nice little pattern there. And we're just going to get 1 over 1, which is just 1. Okay, now, good news is, is that multiplying fractions is the exact same thing, except um, we just have to uh, adhere to one rule, is that we always go ahead and we keep the first fraction the same, we change that into a multiplication sign, and then we flip the second fraction, like that. And same rules apply. And uh, in this case, we're just going to multiply straight across. And that's going to give me, uh, oops, not going to give me 6. It's going to give me 9 over 8. And that's that. So um, that's good news uh, for, again, if you get like multiplying fractions, then dividing is not that much different. Um, what I like to do when uh, presented this type of scenario where we have this fraction, 3 fourths, and it's being divided by 5 6. Okay? And from here we can just start, we can just go back to this example and follow the same steps. Um, and it will fall apart nicely. So we'll go 3 fourths, change this into a multiplication sign, flip the second fraction, and then do what we need to do. Um, looks like we can do some cancellation. So, 2 goes into 4 twice, and 2 goes into 6 three times, and now we can just multiply straight across, and that's going to give me 9 tenths. And then finally, we have um, this guy right here, and any time that we just have a, uh, a regular number like that, and we have to flip it or take the reciprocal, we're going to imagine it, okay, so this goes into a as 3 over 1, so that will go to 1 third. And now we can multiply straight across, and that's going to give me 1 6. So that's how you do that, uh, review on multiplying and dividing fractions, and I uh, hope that helped you out, and I'll see you in the next video.